Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another tips and tricks video for Golf Blitz for mobile and iOS. Today, we will be tackling another course that we had to backtrack a little bit for, and that is the Shipyard course, or tour number 10. And if you're excited to learn a little bit about this one, well, you've come to the right place. But I do want to highlight that next week we will be tackling what is currently the newest course to the game, though there might be a course or two that's added between now and then because there is a game update happening later this week. But the Shipyard Tour is very unique in how it functions, so let's have a little bit of a closer look at this one to allow you to play a little bit better around it. And as always, if you find today's video helpful, enjoyable, and or interesting, make sure that you hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for the daily variety content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Shipyard. So first up, we have a hole that can be quite problematic. And generally, the best method to use for this hole is chipping down onto the pieces of putty. I tried to do that with the alt account, but it didn't exactly pay out. And that's why it's a little bit more of a tedious process. Now there is a lower section to take down here, but with the large spinning saws, there's not really a good way of going about that method safely. So what I instead recommend is if you have the sticky ball or the gooey ball and you've put a lot into the accuracy, which I think is a really good play, you can take a high bank shot and come right down onto the green. That is by far the best option that you can do on this course if you have that ball available. If not, I still think that the best option is coming to this section of sticky on the middle platform, maybe going down to the bottom one or dropping down onto the green if you're confident that you're not going to overshoot into one of the gears or something else. Now this hole is quite interesting as well and I'm going to demo once more with the alt account what the standard trajectory is as you'll want to come up to this platform and then attempt to make your way through this little opening. And that's made a lot easier if you have access to an increased accuracy such as the sniper ball. However, you can bypass that completely if you have one of a few different tools. We do have one of them, that being the super ball, which you can use to go right up over the top of this barrier. And if you're a little more gutsy, you can get over towards the hole itself or even uh, get an ace on this hole. But the only other ball that can really help you out with this is the anti-gravity ball where you can stall your way up. But the super ball by far is the best option for that unless you don't have any other tools that let you get up and over, in which case you're going to greatly benefit from increased accuracy type shots. Now here on this hole, there's a couple of different methods that you can adopt. I personally think that one of the better ones is taking a high uh, bank shot there because oftentimes you can get a roll off of this platform and save yourself the follow-up shot, which is always good because too strong of a bank from this top platform down to the lowest one uh, can end up sending you into the abyss over here on your left. So ideally you can get a shot that's going to leave you up here on this platform and then you can take a bank shot off of this wall. Doesn't always work out though and it's not the end of the world. From here things are fairly straightforward. You're just going to want to head through that opening and then take a short chip shot back into the hole to round things out. So here's a good example of what to do if you don't have access to the anti-grav ball or the super ball on this hole. Again, you're going to want to aim to get right through that notch there as that is the path of least resistance. Now, you do need to have a fair amount invested into your accuracy or have an accuracy enhancement such as the sniper ball, but it is doable and it will get you there faster than most of your opponents in the absence of the anti-gravity ball or the super ball. This one's another really fun hole and again, 
accuracy favors the bold here. Now, if you've got high accuracy or if you have access to the sniper ball, something else that gives you increased accuracy, your best bet is going right between those blades. There is the alternate method around, but it's just way too much of a time waste. From here, I recommend having whatever ball, except for maybe the super ball, and power bouncing off of that platform, and that should roll you into the hole or put you very close to it within the realm of an easy follow-up. Oh boy, this hole can be tricky. Now, what you'll want to try and do, most ideally, I'll try and demo with the alt account here, is you'll want to try and get up onto this platform. That's made easier if you have access to the sniper ball, the putty ball, other types of power-ups. Though there are a couple of alternate options of things that you can do. For example, on this particular iteration, I do have the anti-grav ball, which is a really nice option because it brings you up without the pinpoint accuracy that's sometimes required from the other shots. And that can give you a really nice and easy follow-up over to the green. But all things considered, if you don't have access to the anti-gravity ball, you'll want to balance on that platform and then take the more reliable chip shot up onto the green, possibly get a follow-up after that. Now, there is an alternate strategy for this hole if and only if you have the putty ball or the sticky ball or the gooey ball. I call it by many different names around here. Pick your favorite and let me know in the comments down below. But if you do have access to that, you can take a lower bank shot down onto the wall and of course uh, get that follow up onto the green as well before getting that nice chip shot in. You might have to wait around for some elixir for it, but if you have a higher cooldown on your shots, you should be able to cope with that fairly easily. Now this hole can be fun and it can also be kind of hectic. So your best bet is going to be taking a shot up through this high buzz saw. And you might have to practice a little bit to get the shot, I promise it's possible. I don't know why I'm choking it so hard. So let's take a little bit of a higher shot and there we are. We've managed to uh, make our way through that. Now, from here, what I would recommend doing is taking a bank off of that wall, and you don't want to shoot into it full power because you're liable to overshoot and end up in the abyss over on the left of that bottom platform. But ideally, you make it through that buzzsaw instead of taking the long way around. That gets you a much easier follow-up to actually winning the hole. Here's another one that can be pretty fun. So, of course, you have the rotating platform right here above your head, but if you can, I recommend trying to go around it, especially if you have balls that have increased accuracy or increased power. As you can see here, one use of my fast forward ball and a follow-up immediately thereafter with my sticky ball was able to get me up to the platform. And if you have the ability to get stuck up on that platform, that's going to be your best bet because this is a very notorious course to get sabotaged on since you can be sent all the way back to square one uh, as the most inconvenient and if not, you'll be shot off into the abyss by your opponents. So trying to get up to the top as quickly as you can and without as many hindrances is of course the best option. The super ball works really well for that. The putty ball works really well for that. The super fast forward ball works really well for that. And of course the putty ball. And if you're at the point where you have the heavy ball, that can work quite well also. This hole is a lot of fun if you can do it correctly. Now the best path is to go right down that alley and end up down here because that allows you to get one of the easiest follow-up shots on the face of the planet. I mean, if you don't have the accuracy for that, you're not gonna pull it off and somebody else who has higher accuracy is just going to win it. That is why, or one of the main reasons why I invest in accuracy as early on as I do is it allows you to pull off some more of those trickier plays. Here is another really fun and interesting course. So this one can be a little bit tricky. Now I have seen people who can perch up on the top of this little spire, but the biggest thing is, is you need to make your way to this side without getting knocked around by too many of your opponents. From here, you've really just gotta make your way over to this other side. 
However, if you do have access to something like the GUI ball, then that may serve best because these putting greens have ropes draped over the end of them, which is not conducive to finishing up really well. So if you can get around that without having to use or knock over those ropes, then that is of course the best option. However, you may very well have to shoot onto the green and have to deal with those ropes anyway. So just kind of be aware of what the situation is. If you have the gooey ball, feel free to stick to the side of the course because that is an option. Well, I have played through this course a couple more times just to make sure that I have highlighted every single course in the tour and I do believe that that is the case. If you feel like there's anything that I missed, please let me know in the comments down below, or if there's a strategy that I overlooked or was not aware of and didn't highlight, you can let me know in the comments there as well. But that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed and made it this far, make sure that you hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe for the daily variety content, and I hope to see you in the next video, everyone. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.